Hey YouTube, Axel Fire Flurry here, here to bring you my six favorite fire Pokemon. Now, before we get started, I do want to make a couple of notes. Uh, for starters, my f editing software may still be a little bit freaky deaky, so the photos may not line up exactly with the audio, so I hope you will forgive me for that. Uh, it's really weird because I will adjust the photo to line up with the audio, and then the audio won't line up with the photo. And then I'll fix the audio, and then the photo will be unaligned with the audio. So it just goes back and forth in a never-ending circle of bullcrap. Uh, another thing, I did have this recording done with Turret Mob or Jenna, but for reasons unknown, uh, the audio cut out about halfway. And because she's super busy, I will be doing this solo. I hope she will forgive me, because if I remember correctly, this is one of her favorite types, and she has a lot of really cool Pokemon that she had mentioned. I'm going to leave a link to the description to her Pyroar video, because I know that that's one of the Pokemon that she had mentioned. And all the same, just go check out her vid channels. Uh, she's playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire right now. So go see that, and she needs to name an Abra after me. Now it's on my YouTube channel. Now it has to be done. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. And one more thing. Uh, this isn't really Pokemon related, but uh, the beginning of next month, December 5th, 6th, and 7th, I will be at the Utah Winter Festival uh, as Jack Frost. And I'm thinking on doing a recording of the event. It, it's sort of, if you get, you guys, you're not from Utah, so you probably don't understand what Winter Festival is. It's pretty much like a Renaissance fantasy con or whatever. It's like anime bonsai, but not a lot of anime, but more fantasy. And it's a lot of it's going to be winter themed because of Duh Winter Fair. And if you guys want to see me, I will do like a. If you guys want me, I will do a video recording to of the event, just me going around to like the different vendors in their costumes and me as Jack Frost. Uh, getting a. I'm maybe do, I'm going to be helping out with an anti bullying thing there, and I will be with the. Uh, the Intermountain Renaissance Arts Foundation and the J Dragon Company. So, if you guys want me to do a video on that, like a live recording, uh, where you actually get to see me in like my costume and my makeup, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section and just let me know because I think that'd be a lot of fun. Now, enough of my rambling. Uh, let's get on to the my six favorite fire type Pokemon. Okay, at number six, it's going to be Talonflame. Now, the reason I put Talonflame on this list is because it reminds me of a really good friend of mine. Uh, I was playing X and Y, and I was actually breeding me a Talonflame. And I have a friend who's a falconeer, who she does that, and does hair, which I find really awesome. But anyway, so I posted on her Facebook page. This was like a while back, and I'm like, this is a town fame. It's a falcon, and it reminded me of you. I had bred a female one. Is it okay if I name it after you? And she's like, oh, yeah, I know what town fame is. I have one in my Wi-Fi. I'm like, what, you play Pokemon? She's like, yeah. I didn't know anyone else played Pokemon. I'm like, uh, there's this guy right here. And I told her that she needed to start playing Pokemon with her husband. But it, it, the re that's pretty much the reason town fame is on there. It reminds me of a really awesome friend. And just the fact that it gave me a really hilarious story. So at number five, Entei. The reason I love Entei is, is not just the fact that he's cute and cuddly and just looking majestic. It's sort of the fact that just how fatherly he is. I know he was dreamt and wished up to be fatherly, but the lengths he's willing to go for this little girl, it just reminds me of what I do for work, just going all over the state and just all over the place just to put on a costume to entertain kids and like sick kids uh and just help brighten somebody's day just just to make them happy because I'm an introvert and just stepping out of my bubble to such great lengths to bring that kind of joy to other people which is why I don't upload as often as I am because I'm constantly making costumes i'm constantly going to different events so i'm going to try to do some more recording i'm going to do more recordings i'm going to definitely put out as many videos as i can but because i'm on the road so much or i'm at a sewing machine or getting fitted so often it, that's just kind of why 
I don't record as often. But knowing that it goes towards such a cause, I, I can't just put that off to the side to make a video that only a few people watch. I mean, maybe one day I'll be really big at this, which would be kind of cool, but for now, just doing what I do is just so amazing. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, next is Typhlosion. Uh, Typhlosion. Uh, he's cute, he's super cuddly, I hope he gets a Mega Evolution, and this was actually my best friend's growing up's favorite Pokemon. Like, when we'd go out on the playground and pretend we were Pokemon trainers, I'd have my Abra, Kadabra, then Alakazam. He would have his Cyndaquil, Quilava, then Typhlosion. We'd have fun little po pretend Pokemon battles, and he actually gave me his Dark Typhlosion card uh, on one of my birthdays, which I thought was so cool. I still have the Typhlosion card. I wish I had the other two stages, because I, I would love to just use it again because I'm recollecting the cards but I'll I'll get to the cards later so now that that's gone uh, Arcanine the reason Arcanine is on this list is just because he's a loyal guard dog and I've been told by a lot of my friends that just how loyal I am just how I'm willing to just drop whatever it is I'm doing like uh, I was a cashier at a Sears once and one of my friends had given me a call, and she was, like, super depressed, and she wanted to kill herself. I actually ran out of the building. I didn't even clock out, and I went it over to make sure that she was all right, and work got, like, super pissed at me. My manager got, like, super pissed at me, like, the next day, and I'm like, I I'm sorry, but, like, the instant somebody has, like, a real emergency... I have to go. I can't just sit there wondering if a person is okay. If somebody's having a bad day, I need to go and I need to do something to help them out. So just having the loyal guard dog Pokemon and just me being the way I am and the fact that I love dogs, I love fire Pokemon, it had to be on this list. All right, so next is actually, I think, the last Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Uh, it is Ninetales. Oh wait, no, it isn't Vast Pokemon, but we'll we'll put Ninetales in anyway. Uh the reason Ninetales is actually the Pokemon that got this all started for me. Um uh, I was really young at the time and I was doing my older brother's paper route. And I and by doing it I mean I did his paper route. He didn't want to do it, and my mom made me go and do his paper route. But I felt was walk a few houses up my street and I had found a Ninetales card in the middle of the road and I was like, what the fuck is this? Well, I didn't say that, but I was like super confused. I went to school and I had asked a bunch of the older kids what the heck that was and like, oh, it's a Ninetales and just every now and again, like the kids would just bring me like a handful of like their extra Pokemon cards and that's really just what it got it started for me. I started building decks. I started learning the Pokemon competitive, the trading card game competitive play. Uh, I used to have like between four to six thousand cards where I lost them all in a flood. But this was the card that just really started it all for me. That got me on the path of a Pokemon trainer. That moved on to more of a pro Pokemon professor is what I'm willing to consider myself now since I'm not great at competitive play in either aspect. Although... With the help of Jenna, I'm slowly learning the play of VGC doubles, and I hope to be working with her in the future on that now that Ruby and Sapphire is out. But on to the last Pokemon that wasn't meant to be the last Pokemon, uh, Rapidash. Now this is going to be a weak point. I love horses. I like horses. I used to own a horse. I used to work at a scout camp during the summer where I would teach the kids how to ride horses, and we would take a hour, hour and a half ride around the campsite up in the mountains to just get them their horse riding merit badge, and it was really funny because I used to take my horse up there, and all the kids really wanted to ride this horse, I'm like, no, 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 this horse will kick your ass, it does not like people, it was a really huge black, I can't, the sad thing is I can't even remember the breed of horse it was, but it it was a vicious looking horse, and it was really unfortunate because I actually had to put him down a couple of years ago, and I haven't been riding ever since. 
but that's really about it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!